good evening and welcome to shark welcome to malc my name is adarshni paul and i am the cmo of our company leather is one of the most widely traded commodities globally the growth in demand for leather is driven by fashion industry especially footwear apart from this furniture and interior design industries as well as the automotive industry also demand leather the leather industry has a place of prominence in the indian economy due to substantial export earning and growth besides the fact that it employs 2.5 percent people india is fifth largest exporter of leather goods and accessories in the world the motive of our company is to make eco friendly leathers which are not made by animal skin by killing them but by the rotten mangoes which are thrown in the open land which leads to the formation of landfills we the mango leather making company are here with an here with the concept of how to make leathers out of rotten mangoes we have a b2b business that is business to business collaboration in which we make the leathers out of rotten mangoes and sell them to textile industries where the leathers are further converted into bags shoes belts and other essential product for the customers our main objective is to save our wildlife and a future generation thank you now here are the tables of contents that we are going to cover in this presentation first problem second solution third marketing and fourth teamwork now over to alka Good evening, all the sharks. I am Alka, the marketing head of our company MALC. So I am here to discuss a brief description of the problem faced. So here are the steps involved in making traditional uh, process of making goods using leather derived from animal skin. So the steps are soaking, unhairing, and limbing, uh, delimbing, batting, pickling. chrome tanning wet blue leather salmon splitting and shaving wet back neutralization retanning dyeing and fat lacquering and crushed leather there are many problems faced by the masses turning skin into leather requires massive amount of energy and dangerous chemicals tannery effluent contains large amount of pollutants such as salt lime slug sulfites and acids people who work in and live near tanneries suffer too many die of cancer possibly caused by exposure to toxic chemicals used to process and dye the leather raising the animals whose skin eventually becomes leather requires vast quantities of water and wide tracts of pastures which must be cleared of trees this mass deforestation causes habitat loss of millions of species eliminates the earth tree canopy and drives climate change animal agriculture and its methane and nitrous oxide rich products including le leather are leading contributors to climate change the production of leather hurts animals the environment and the workers who manufacture it the only ones who benefit are the people who profit from the misery and suffering of others other argument against traditional leather making are that jainism prohibits the use of leather because it is obtained by killing animals so sha here we have just one solution for all these problems the leather we manufacture in our company is made from thousands of mangoes that could be otherwise thrown away I wanted to have an outlet for that instead of just throwing them away like trash. Now this waste can be used to make wallets, handbags and shoes. It competes with the massive leather industry. We receive the waste from the farmers for free and they don't have to pay any more to get rid of their mango waste. It is a cruelty free material. This leather is cheaper, cruelty free, more sustainable and stylish. It's also becoming increasingly accessible with so many Indian brands and designers using it in their designs. When you have a cleaner and greener alternative to leather, why not try it? 
First, we cut the mangoes that we cannot sell them anymore. First, a machine destones the mangoes and then crushes the pulp, crushes the fruit into a pulp. Then the machine pumps through a tube with a large vat. Next, several additives are mixed with the mixture that will turn the mango pulp into a leather-like material. Then we check the measurements are right by using a meter. Then the mixture is poured onto a metal baking trays and smoothed out to create an even thickness. Then the trays go in a dehydrator overnight. Before we dry it, it always has a light creme color. But after we dry it, it tends to look very different based on the type of mango that we use. So for example, a Parma mango will give a more brownish material whereas Ket mango will give a more black material. Finally, the sheets go to a leather finishing facility to be, uh, to be coated in a protective glaze. Then we mix resins to make the coating and it makes a little film on top of the sheet to protect it from other elements. A machine presses a thin layer of protective coating onto the leather. When the sheets pass through, they go into a conveyor that rolls them into an oven. The 100 degrees Celsius heat helps the coating dry and the sheets hang on the rack to cool and dry completely. Each one undergoes this process multiple times to make it more durable. Next, another machine applies heat and pressure to combine the layers of coating. The final step is design. The embossing machine makes the leather look and feel like animal skin. A distoner machine, which is used to remove heavier contaminants. A pulping machine, which is used to extract pulp from those mangoes. An industrial mixing machine, which is used to mix pulp with additives. A dehydrator machine, which is used for drying the pulp. A coating machine, which is used for coating the leather to result it as smooth. An oven, a press machine, and at last, an embossing machine. Hello, Sharks. Good evening. I'm Yuga Khurana. I'm the head talent acquisition of our company, MALC. I'm going to tell you about the products we have used. So here are the product details on your screen. Wigan, made from mangoes, which cannot be consumed. Durable and water repellent. Biodegradable, biodegradable, does not include any toxic chemicals. I'm Devish. Hello. Good morning. Good, good evening, Sharks. I'm going to share the benefits to the customers. It looks like leather made from animal skin and laborers are safe. So, uh, there, uh, there is a target audience. We have a B2B business that is business to business collaboration. We would supply raw materials to brands like Olive, India Mart, Hamlin, etc., which then use this material to manufacture products like bags, wallets, etc. Hello, everybody. This is Chitraj Mishra, the administrative head of the company. Now, going to talk about the marketing tools that our company is going to. Print media. We'll take help of magazines, newspapers, and pamphlets. We are going to advertise the product in such a manner that it creates an impact on the society. Word of mouth. We'll do some spoken advertising in famous cities to tell the people the benefits of a product. Digital marketing. This type of marketing would promote a product to reach every corner of the city, country, and world. We'll try to generate eye-catching advertisement for a business. Our main destinations for advertising a business would be Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, etc. Gorilla marketing. As some popular cities will try to advertise a project by making some attractive things related to the cause. It would also be a good source of advertising a project. Our product, yeah. our product is 100% cost efficient. 
Our product just requires rupees 45 per square meter. So here are the teamwork divisions. Parinita Patel is our CEO. Adarshni is our CMO. Alka is our marketing head. Prati Mihani is our COO. Shritish Mishra is our administrative head. Account manager, Pianka Yadav. Product development head, Devish. In charge industry management, Yashil. Head of talent acquisition, Yurika. CFO, Hidanshi. CTO, Nandini Arora. Charles, we have chosen this topic to identify opportunities. Tactical, simple. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.